Hey guys, what's up? I got on the phone and I thought I would try and film me just repotting some of my propagation. I might also cut like two or three of my plants because my Adansonia has a really weird vine. But yeah, this is my um, Hartley Philodendron. I recently put it in a window above my bed and that it's an east facing window. Yeah, so it started to get bigger leaves and um, an entirely new vine, but I want to plant these on like the sides to fill out the pot more. Let's see what the the roots look like. They're not huge, but I think they'll be fine. So they only really need to be like an inch or two long anyways. <laughs> I would say this is like one of the first five or ten plants I got. Now I'm up to like 70. <laughs> from water so these are my watermelon um, Pilea peperomia I'm just gonna stick these and these I'm gonna stick these two with these two um, that I propagated like a few weeks ago <laughs> just propagating like right into soil um I've only ever done water I well I started experimenting with the sphagnum moss but I've only just thrown in like random leaves like I haven't done like a ton and I find it easier to maintain than the water too because the water you have to switch out every week or two and then you have to top off the top too when it's starting to begin to root because they're so short and that gets pretty annoying it's just like one root there <laughs> so this guy will get a water i've heard some people say that like these always die on them mine's been fine my normal Kalea though has like weird spots on the leaves, on the ridges of the leaves, and I don't know why. Um, someone commented on my Instagram that it was like possibly nitrogen. I don't know if anyone knows. <clears throat> but like other than that, it seems fine. Oh my god, there's so many fungus gnats that just came out of this. Whatever. <laughs> And then this definitely needs water too, and I'm gonna sprinkle a ton of cinnamon on this, <laughs> and I think it'll like be fine. I don't have any other soil, and I need to root this, or I mean pot this. It's just a spider plant, I forgot to say that. Um, but my mother plant, which is right behind me, has like four other babies coming off of it, so I'm not too concerned if that doesn't take well to that old soil I just potted it in. It's not that old though. It had something else I was trying to root in that died um, that I was trying to transition from water. And I think that's all of the water propagations I want to do right now. So I'll take this now to my Adansonia and I can cut it 
So this is the bun that I think I want to chop. Let's see, it's kind of like just long. <laughs> There's a little leaf on the tip. I think that's the only one I really need to. I have this bowl that I could have it go up, but I just wanted to have like more leaves on it before. Um... <laughs> so I have my disinfected scissors. I'm gonna chop it with this leaf like on the propagation because it doesn't look that great anyways um, it's kind of hard to film while holding my phone so let's just see where it falls Now I can split this up at the nodes in a sec. Um, yep. And then I also wanted to do my angel wing begonia, which is over here. Um, it's not really able to support this and it's just kind of long. Like it could have leaves coming out of these points. So I think I'm just gonna cut it and then um, when it starts to get longer again, I have these poles already like sitting here because I'm prepared because last time it got really out of hand and um, there was another stem like this tall with just leaves on the very tip. <clears throat> just how begonias be though. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna cut this one above this leaf right here. Um, you can already see there's like a point there where it'll start growing again. And this thing grows all the time. These are the old propagations that I did before that I replanted and this one has a new leaf coming out. Um, and this is the newest leaf on this side. And then there's also a new leaf like on the tip up here. Yeah. So it's just always growing. And there's another one there. <laughs> I think I can cut this into two propagations. Well, and more down here. Okay. Okay, so now I have um, the sphagnum moss that I just bought online, soaking in water by the sink. And then when that is completely saturated, I will come back and put these in the prop boxes that I make. Right now, I'm just gonna cut these at the nodes too and show you guys where I cut them. I'm gonna cut it. This is the bottom, so I'm gonna cut it right above this leaf. And then there's a spot for roots to come there and here. <laughs> probably use these just to fill out the base of that pot that I have my Adansonii in though because it's so big. I just put it in a huge pot because I knew I wanted it to be a monster like climbing to the ceiling one day. So I just have these two pieces that are trash now and I have four cuttings. The ones without the leaves will probably take longer I'm guessing um, but I don't know. I haven't really tried it too much yet. Gnats. My boyfriend was like bringing it up and I was trying to just ignore it and just pretend like they weren't there but then I finally decided I'd try and treat some of them and I have used an entire container of cinnamon so far um, 
I'm gonna get more later. I don't know. I think it's something I'm just gonna have to live with. I'm gonna try and get some of those sticky traps though, I think, cause I'm sure it's just gonna get worse in the summer. So that'll at least help maintain it a little bit. I'm just now realizing how big these leaves are to put in a prop box. I'm gonna need to get a bigger container. I'll figure that out while these are um, scabbing over. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna leave this because it's like so close together right there. I don't think I could separate that right now, like where the node is, it's too tight. Okay, so I have five propagations of my angel wing begonia. These are the ones I'll definitely throw in the, pop, the, the prop box. These, I might just do as water ones because I don't know if I have a container that big right now. And this one I'm just gonna do um, the begonias in this tiny one. <laughs> flat containers I slide them under the very bottom shelf of this I can show you in a sec grow light just turned off actually <laughs> four cuttings in there okay and then now i have my adansonia i think i'll put one this one with the leaf in it too um this one will probably do better than the ones without leaves <laughs> gonna finish the ones of the leaves these are too big I decided to put in the moss so I'm just gonna dip it in water like how I usually do <laughs> okay. and this is just water out of my refrigerator um, so it's I guess it's filtered. I don't always use filtered water though. I just find it easier to control the amount of water. But yeah, let me show you too. I just like slide these under here. And I just like forget about them. That's literally it. <laughs> this, I stick with all of my other ones. <clears throat> my throat is gunky i think it's allergies um yeah. <clears throat> so that, that's my like plant chores for today um yeah i'll talk to you later bye
Tschüss.